That is a control arm. Its job is to keep the axle centered under the Jeep. This is where it mounts to the frame. This is also one of the lowest points on the frame itself. And that is what happens when you bash a low point on your frame up against a rock. That's what a not bit one's supposed to look like. I've been looking for a while to find something that's going to solve this problem. Welcome to Jeeps and Things, and today we're going to be talking about skid plates, specifically for the lower control arm on a 21 Jeep Gladiator. Alright, so to make a long story short, shortly after I got the Jeep, I was really excited and wanted to hit the trails, so I did. But, problem is, Jeep Gladiator Rubicon has a much longer wheelbase than some of the other Jeeps out there. And so, I was able to get over a bunch of stuff, but when it came to one particular obstacle, didn't have the, the wheelbase or the ride height to get over it without the damage. So, that's why we're putting on these skid plates that I got from Rusty's Off-Road today. They're not a sponsor, but it's a fantastic product I found. It's quarter inch steel plate, laser cut. You know how to protect these things just fine. So it's a bit tight in there. I got my nut started. And you have to put the nut on the inside for your front bolt. If that would focus, sorry y'all. But, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some electrical tape to hold that in place. And I've got the bolt on the other side. So I'm just gonna use some electrical tape to hold it in place so I can get the skid plate in, get the control arm in, and this uh, top bolt up there. Don't gotta be perfect. It's just gotta hold it on there. I'm gonna run this bolt from the outside in. Excuse me, from the inside out. With the washer, because that's a bit larger hole than what you usually see on that. Right. So grab your bolt from the back side, add your skid plate, use a nut to hold it in place. Then you want to add your front bolt, catch the threads on that nut you started earlier. You just want to leave everything loose. And then you add your main bolt for the control arm. So 
So once you've got all three of your bolts in, front bolt, top bolt, and the uh, bolt for the control arm, it's just as simple as put your nuts back in. Get everything torqued up the spec. And go to the other side. All right, so skid plates are installed. Like I said, relatively easy process. Three bolts, you have your new hardware, one here, one there, and then your main bolt for the control arm. This is quarter inch laser cut high grade steel by Rusty's Off-Road. They've designed these skid plates specifically for the Jeep Gladiator to protect this control arm and this low point on the frame. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear for what you guys have to say. Until next time, I'm going to go test these skid plates out.